Welcome to Lesson 1 of Unit 9, Helping Seeds Travel. In this lesson, students will work to answer the question, how can we figure out what plants need to grow? In this lesson, students set up a plant growth experiment and collect background information. They figure out that we can set up experiments to show that plants need sunlight and water to grow healthily. Start by framing the unit, telling students that this unit is all about what plants need and how plants and animals interact in their particular habitats. By the end of the unit, we are going to answer the question, how can we make a model that mimics the function of an animal in seed dispersal or pollination of plants? What do you think we need to know in order to be able to meet this design challenge? What questions do you have? Ask students to turn and talk to a partner and then share answers out to the whole class. You may want to record some of their ideas and questions on chart paper to revisit throughout the unit. In the Engage, introduce the unit phenomenon to students by asking them if they've ever eaten a strawberry before. What was the fruit like? Then, after showing this video, chart student questions and initial explanations. Guide students toward wondering how that fruit was able to form. Do not answer questions at this time. Students will explore their questions as the unit continues. Ask the class, what do you think plants need to grow? How could we figure that out? What would we need to test that question? Give them opportunity to turn and talk, recording their ideas about the basic needs of plants on chart paper. Then display the science practices poster shown here on teacher page two. Have a class discussion on how to design an experiment and develop an investigation plan. Explain to students that the class is going to test two different kinds of seeds and how they react to water and sunlight to answer the testable question, what do plants need to grow? Explain to students that when scientists experiment, they only test one thing at a time, because if we change more than one thing at a time, we will not know which thing changed the outcome of the experiment. In the Explore, students will conduct an experiment with two different kinds of seeds in various growing conditions. Follow these directions to set up the experiment. First, gather the following materials from your MySci kit for Lesson 1. Eight peat pots, eight plastic cups, one bag of soil, one bag of marigold seeds, one bag of dill seeds, and one spray water bottle. For this experiment, students will be divided up into eight groups and each group assigned a number. Number the cups one through eight to help organize the groups. Each group will also need a pot, soil, cup, and seed. To save time, you could set up the pots with soil and plastic cups ahead of time. Student groups one through four will plant dill seeds, while groups five through eight will plant marigolds. Give the groups the correct seeds and then have them plant the seeds just below the surface of the soil. Use the spray bottle to give plants one, two, five, and six a couple of squirts of water. Be sure that the plants are placed in the right type of light as well according to their group number. Some plants will be in the sun while others should be in the dark. After the investigation is set up, have students describe the features of the experiment including the types of seeds used, the source of light, the amount of water plants will be given, and how plant growth will be determined. Lead a discussion on how this investigation will allow students to answer the testable question, what do plants need to grow? In the explain, introduce the vocabulary term botanist by explaining that a botanist is a scientist who studies plants. Students will get to be botanists throughout this unit using science practices to do their experiments. Turn their attention to Science Practices recording sheet in their student journal, shown here on student pages two through five. Review these steps with students recalling the question for the experiment, what do plants need to grow, and recording it here on page two. Next, scientists learn all that they can about their question. To do this learning, use the book, How Does a Plant Grow, in a read aloud with students. The read aloud guide for teachers is on teacher page seven. As you read with students, tell them to write down what they think is important to know about plant needs in this Learn All You Can section of the Science Practices recording sheet. In the Elaborate, introduce the vocabulary term hypothesis as a testable, detailed prediction scientists make about what might happen in an experiment or observation. 
read through each hypothesis statement on student page three, having students circle yes or no, depending on what they think will happen. After each statement, hold a brief discussion and have students explain their choices. Teacher guidance for these pages can be found on teacher pages 17 to 18. Please note that the remaining science practices are steps that will be completed as the experiment continues in the following lessons. In the Evaluate, ask students what do plants need to grow? How will our experiment show us this? Allow students time to think, pair, and share to answer that question. By the end of this lesson, students will conduct an investigation to show what plants need to grow.